Hello there, I'm Homa Ansari from the German Aerospace Center. In this short video, I would like to introduce our TechWalsa project. TechWalsa is dedicated to monitoring tectonics and volcanoes of South America. We are three project partners from the German Aerospace Center DLR, as well as the German Research Center for Geosciences GFZ. We are using Sentinel-1 data in order to retrieve 4D mapping of the Earth's surface. Having geophysical expertise, we are able then to interpret such 4D maps. And using artificial intelligence, we can efficiently extract information from the wealth of these 4D maps. Earth surface mapping is performed using Sentinel-1 A and B time series in the span of 2014 to 2019 over the central volcanic zone of the Andes. Using SAR interferometry, we are able to, first of all, retrieve surface displacement velocity maps from different geometries, as well as 4D point clouds, where on each point of this cloud, we are able to see the temporal evolution of the Earth's surface in form of a time series. The mentioned surface displacement products will provide hundreds of millions of data points for further investigation. The investigation into those data points would provide interesting insights into geophysical activities in the region. I show you a number of examples over this region which are very interesting. One is over the volcanoes, um, the other is the lithium mining activities, for example over Atacama Desert in this case, or different solid fluxion signals over different sites. As well as seismic activities, here I show you the abrupt displacement caused by the EOPL earthquake in 2015. Lastly, we resort to machine learning in order to efficiently explore the hundreds of millions of data points at hand. We perform various machine learning tasks, which I categorize into unsupervised and supervised learning. In the unsupervised section, the applications are clustering similar time series for detection of nonlinear transient signals, as well as the detection of the mentioned solid fluxion signals, which are surrounding the volcanoes. For the supervised tasks, we have the deformation type classification based on CNNs. Here, the training data set is scarce, that is why we are using simulated data from our geophysical partners in order to tackle this problem. That was a very quick overview of our TechWalsa project. Thank you so much for watching, and do contact us in case of interest.